Welcome to Tuesday. Yes, it's Tuesday again. It happens about once a week. Today our tech tip is a simple one. I'm going to have to talk about it longer than it's going to take to do it. This is an oil banjo bolt from a Subaru. This has a screen inside it. Why is there a screen inside it? Because in Subaru's infinite wisdom, about, uh, let's see, man, almost 20 years ago, they decided that they didn't want little bits of debris to travel through your oil system and contaminate various components inside the car. The problem with these screens was they were considerably smaller filter elements as far as the actual passages through the filter than the oil filter in your engine, meaning little micro debris that makes it through the filter would get stuck in these. Wait, that sounds like a good thing. We don't want this micro debris to contaminate our turbo and our cam gears and all those other things. Except what happened with these? Well, what happened essentially, here is an oil line that goes to the variable cam system that sits like that. Oil passes up through there, goes down there, and into the cam gear itself. Again, all seems like a good thing. But what happens with these little screens is, let's pull one out, they would get clogged up with gunk. Once they got clogged up with gunk, because they're such a fine mesh element, now no oil goes through here. And suddenly we start seeing failures, specifically turbo failures and AVCS failures, from people running their cars low on oil, which then forces a little bit more debris into these screens. And these screens don't ever get changed. So you change your oil filter every 3,000 miles, but you never change this screen. So pretty much every turbo manufacturer says you got to pull these out. Even Subaru stopped putting these in their motors after a certain amount of time. So once you pull your banjo bolt out, and you find that you have a screen in it, how do you get it out? Well, the easiest way is with one of these little right-hand picks. There are a variety of other ways to do this, but this is the way I prefer. And you just set it inside here, kind of at an angle. You're gonna get it to essentially penetrate the screen. And let's see if I can do this in the first try. Nope. Let's do it without stabbing myself. And then you're just gonna give it a little pull it, came, it started coming out. Give it one more little pull, it should come the rest of the way. And it flew across the floor. But there it is. Removed from the bolt. It's not going to focus. Anyway, now you have this nice bolt with a nice big oil passageway. It's going to be free, and you're going to count on your oil filter to clean stuff out. So get a really good oil filter. Replace it every 3,000 miles, not 5, not 10, not 15, and you're not going to have to worry about oil contamination. So let's talk real quick about where to find these nasty little buggers. Well, the first one is right here. And on your U.S. cars that had the screens on the AVCS on the passenger side, the outlet from the block is where you're looking. This one, it'd be nice if that was the one that had it, but it's not. It's the one behind the timing cover, which you basically can't do anything about while the timing cover's on, meaning it's a pain in the butt. The next place we find one is right here. Again, this one's pretty easy to do in the car. Um, this is modified line. I was just trying to show you on a motor that's off, but this one right here also has the screen. This one feeds this AVCS and the turbo. Some other cars that didn't have AVCS, that just had a banjo coming off here to the turbo, also had the screen in them right here. So really anywhere that oil comes out of your block, you should check to see if you have one of those screens. If you do, it can damage your motor. Get them out of there. That's my taco tech tip for today. Thanks for watching.